What time is it? It's prayer time. Today I want to talk about a season that God ordains in each of our lives, a season of birthing. Just as natural seasons shift, so too do the spiritual seasons we walk through. There are times for planting, times for growth, times of harvest, and yes, times of birthing. Birthing is a painful, messy process, but it is also one of the most joyous because it means something new is coming into the world. In our spiritual lives, there are seasons when God is birthing something in us, new dreams, new purpose, new opportunities, or even new life in Christ. But birthing doesn't happen instantly. It requires patience, perseverance, and trust in God's perfect timing. Let's dive deeper into what this season of birthing entails. Isaiah 66, 9, do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery, says the Lord. Do I close up the womb when I bring to delivery, says your God. Conception, the seed of promise. Before anything is birthed, there must first be a seed. God plants seeds of purpose and destiny in each of us. These seeds might come through a prophetic word, a deep desire, or a vision placed in our hearts. It might be something that has been quietly growing inside of us, waiting for the right time to manifest. In Genesis 17, God promised Abraham and Sarah that they would have a son, though they were old and barren, God planted a seed of promise in them. Sarah laughed, doubting how it could ever happen, but God reminded them that nothing is impossible with him. Ask yourself these questions. What has God planted in you? What dreams, purposes, or gifts has he conceived in your heart? Gestation, the season of waiting. After conception comes the waiting, the gestation period. This is often the hardest part because it requires faith. Just like a baby grows in the womb unseen, God is often working behind the scenes, preparing you for the birthing of his promise. In this time, you may face doubt, discouragement, or even feel like giving up. The enemy will try to convince you that nothing is happening. But remember, just because you can't see the growth doesn't mean it's not happening. God is working in the unseen. In Galatians 6, 9, Paul encourages us not to grow weary and do good for in due time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up the season of waiting is a time of preparation god is strengthening you refining you and making sure you are ready for the fulfillment of his promise ask yourself these questions how are you handling the waiting period are you trusting god even when you can't see the full picture labor the travail before the breakthrough before the joy of birth there is the labor labor is intense it's painful it requires you to push past your limits many times just before the breakthrough the pain increases. You may feel like you can't go any further, but this is often the moment when you're closest to your blessing. Isaiah 66, 9 reminds us that God will not bring us to the point of birth and not bring us through it. If you feel like you're in a season of struggle or labor, know that your breakthrough is near. God is about to birth something in you and the enemy knows it. That's why the attack intensifies, why the pressure mounts and why you feel weary. But hold on, God is faithful to deliver what he promised. Ask yourself these questions. Are you ready to push through the pain to see the promise? Will you trust that God's strength is enough when you feel weak? Birth the manifestation of God's promise. Finally, after the labor comes the moment of birth. What once was hidden is now revealed. The promise that God has been growing inside of you is made manifest. When Sarah gave birth to Isaac, her joy was complete. What once seemed impossible became her reality. She held in her arms the tangible proof of God's faithfulness. Likewise, when God brings forth what he has conceived in you, there will be great joy. However, remember that birth is not the end. It's a new beginning. The birthing of God's promise means that a new season of growth and stewardship is required. You must nurture what has been born in you, whether it's a ministry, a new level of faith, a restored relationship, or a fresh vision for your life. Are you prepared to walk in the new season that follows, trusting God with the timing of birth? Finally, we must remember that the timing of birth is in God's hands. In Ecclesiastes 3, one we read to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven just as a mother cannot force the moment of labor we cannot rush God's timing his plans for our lives unfold in his perfect time often we grow impatient especially when the waiting seems long but Isaiah 40 31 reminds us those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength God's timing is always perfect and though we may not understand his ways we can trust that he knows exactly when the 
moment of birthing should take place. We're getting ready to pray, but before we begin to pray, please do like, comment, and share this powerful message with everyone you know. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification button so you can be notified when we upload more powerful messages like this. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today grateful for the seasons you ordain in our lives, especially this season of birthing. We recognize that you are the God who plants, nurtures, and brings to fruition every seed of promise in our hearts. Thank you for for the work you are doing in us, even when it is unseen. Lord, we pray for strength in this season. Just as a mother prepares for the birth of new life, we ask for the endurance to carry the dreams, purposes, and promises you have placed within us. Help us not to grow weary or lose heart during the waiting or laboring, knowing that your timing is perfect and your plans are good. In the moments when the journey is difficult, when we feel the pressure of labor or the pain of waiting, remind us of your faithfulness. Give us the grace to push through, trusting that you will not bring us to the point of birth without delivering the promise. Father, we surrender control to you. Teach us to release our fears, doubts, and need for certainty. Help us trust that you are the one orchestrating every step, and we don't have to strive, but simply lean into your strength. As we prepare for what you are birthing, give us peace in the waiting and patience in the process. Surround us, Lord, with people who will support us in this season, spiritual midwives who will pray Pray with us, encourage us, and help us bring forth what you have placed inside of us. And when our breakthrough comes, help us to nurture the new thing you are doing, to be faithful stewards of the blessings you birth in our lives. Lord, we pray for the ability to walk with others in their birthing seasons. Open our eyes to those who need encouragement, guidance, and support so that we may be instruments of your love and grace in their lives. We trust you, Lord, and we know that what you have started in us, you will bring to completion. We pray praise you in advance for the new life, new dreams, and new purposes that are coming forth. Lord, in this season of birthing, help us to stay rooted in your word. Let it be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, giving us clarity and direction. When we are tempted to give up or grow discouraged, remind us of the promises you have spoken over our lives. Strengthen our hearts with your truth and help us to walk by faith, not by sight. We pray for discernment, Lord, that we may know the right time to move and the right time to wait. Grant us the wisdom to recognize the opportunities and open doors that you have prepared for us. And when the time comes to step forward and give birth to the dreams and purposes you've planted, let us do so with courage and boldness, knowing that you go before us. Father, we also ask for protection over the things you are birthing in our lives. Just as an expectant mother nurtures and guards her unborn child, help us to guard our hearts, minds, and spirits. Protect us from distractions, from the lies of the enemy, and from anything that would seek to hinder the work you are doing within us. Place a hedge of protection around the promises you've entrusted to us. We thank you, Lord, for your presence with us in every step of this journey. You are the God who never leaves us nor forsakes us, and we find comfort in knowing that you are always near. Teach us to lean into your presence, to find rest in you when we are weary, and to seek you above all else in this season. And when the new thing you are birthing is finally revealed, Father, let us be quick to give you all the glory. Let our testimony be a reflection of your power, your goodness, and your faithfulness. May others see the work you've done in our lives and be drawn to you, the giver of all good things. Father, we also pray for patience. The birthing process requires time, and often we can grow weary in the waiting. Yet your word reminds us that those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. Isaiah 40, 31. Teach us, O Lord, to wait well, trusting, resting, and believing that your timing is perfect. Help us to trust that you are never late, and that the the work you are doing in us is for our good and your glory. Father, let us grow in wisdom and maturity. Prepare our hearts for the responsibilities and blessings that come with the new things you are birthing in us. Shape our character, refine our motives, and deepen our dependence on you. Let this season of waiting not be wasted, but let it be a time of growth so that when the promise is birthed, we are ready to walk in the fullness of what you have prepared for us. Father, as you birth new things in our lives, we ask that you give us the wisdom and grace to nurture them. Help us to be faithful. Stewards of the dreams, opportunities, and callings you bring to fruition. May we not take for granted the gifts you have given us, but instead use them for your kingdom and for your glory. Give us the discernment to know how to care for and grow the things you have placed in our hands. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us into this season of birthing. We recognize your hand at work and are grateful for the promises you are about to fulfill.
will. Lord, grant us strength and endurance as we navigate this season. Help us to remain steadfast and resilient in the face of challenges. Father, we trust your perfect timing. Help us to wait patiently and faithfully for the right moment to see the fulfillment of your promises. Grant us wisdom and clarity in every decision we make during this season. Let your Holy Spirit guide us in every step. Lord, protect the dreams and purposes you are birthing in us from any interference or attack of the enemy. Increase our faith to trust in your plan and purpose even when we cannot see the full picture. Help us to endure the waiting period with grace and patience, knowing that you are working all things for our good. Fill our hearts with your peace that surpasses all understanding, especially during moments of anxiety or uncertainty. Even in the labor pains, help us to find joy and encouragement in the work you are doing within us. Lead us through any obstacles or challenges we may encounter. Show us the way to overcome them with your help. Surround us with a community that supports, encourages, and prays with us during this birthing season. Give us discernment to recognize the opportunities you are presenting and the courage to seize them. Heal any areas of our lives that may be hindering the birthing process and restore what needs to be made whole. Thank you for the growth and transformation happening in us. Help us to appreciate and embrace the changes you are bringing. Remove any fear or doubt that tries to hinder us from fully stepping into what you are calling us to do. Empower us with boldness and courage to step into new ventures and to act on the promises you have given us. Renew our strength daily as we continue to labor and wait for the fulfillment of your promises. Grant us spiritual insight to understand the deeper purposes behind this season and how it aligns with your greater plan. Help us communicate effectively with those around us, sharing our vision and goals in a way that builds support and understanding. Teach us to set healthy boundaries so that we can focus on your work and not be overwhelmed by external pressures. Provide for any financial needs related to this season of birthing. We trust you to supply all our needs according to your riches and glory. Help us to celebrate every small victory and progress made along the way, recognizing your hand in every step. Keep our eyes focused on the promise and the purpose you are birthing rather than the obstacles or delays. Heal and restore any strained relationships that may be impacting our ability to fully engage in this season. Renew our vision and passion for the dreams and purposes you have placed in our hearts. Grant us the strength to persevere through difficult times and to remain faithful in our commitment to your plans. Anoint us for success in every endeavor related to the birthing of your promises. Let your favor rest upon our efforts. Refresh our spirits daily with your presence and word so that we remain encouraged and invigorated. Raise up intercessors to pray with and for us during this season, ensuring we have a strong support network in prayer. Provide clarity in our purpose and direction so that we can move forward with confidence and alignment with your will. Fill our hearts with compassion for others who are also in their birthing seasons. Let us be a source of encouragement and support. Prepare us for the responsibilities and opportunities that will come with the fulfillment of your promises. Align our desires and actions with your will so that everything we do is in harmony with your plans. Help us overcome distractions that may divert us from focusing on the promises and purposes you are bringing to birth. Grant us sustained energy and vitality as we continue to labor and wait for the new things you are birthing in our lives. Help us to embrace the changes and transitions that come with this season, adapting with grace and trust. We pray for the fulfillment of the promises you have made, that we may see the realization of the dreams and purposes you've placed in our hearts. Give us vision for the future beyond this season so that we can continue to walk in your plans and purposes for our lives. We decree and declare that the Lord will help us birth in this season. We acknowledge that the hand of the Lord brings new things to life. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. According to Psalm 136, 1. We decree and declare that the Lord is granting us strength and endurance as we navigate this season. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. According to Isaiah 40, 31, we decree and declare that the Lord's timing is perfect and we trust and ask for patience as we wait for the fulfillment of your promises. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven heaven. According to Ecclesiastes 3, 1, we decree and declare that the Lord will grant us wisdom and clarity in every decision we make during this season. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. According to James 1, 5, we decree 
decree and declare that the Lord will protect the dreams and purposes you are birthing in us from any interference. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. According to Psalm 121.8, we decree and declare that the Lord will increase our faith to trust in your plan and purpose, even when we cannot see. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. According to Hebrews 11.1, 1, we decree and declare that the Lord will help us endure the waiting period with grace and patience. But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. According to Romans 8.25, we decree and declare that the Lord will fill our hearts with your peace that surpasses all understanding. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. According to Philippians 4, 7, we decree and declare that the Lord will help us find joy and encouragement in the labor pains of this season. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. According to Isaiah 55, 12, we decree and declare that the Lord will lead us through any obstacles or challenges we may encounter. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. According to Isaiah 58, 11, we decree and declare that the Lord will surround us with a community that supports and encourages us. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. According to Ecclesiastes 4, 9, we decree and declare that the Lord will give us discernment to recognize and seize the opportunities you present. The heart of the discerning acquires knowledge. The ears of the wise seek it out. According to Proverbs 18.15, we decree and declare that the Lord will heal any areas of our lives hindering the birthing process and restore what is needed. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. According to Psalm 147.3, we decree and declare that the Lord will help us appreciate and embrace the growth and transformation happening in us. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. According to Psalm 107, 1, we decree and declare that the Lord will remove any fear or doubt that hinders us from stepping fully into your calling. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. According to 2 Timothy 1, 7, we decree and declare that the Lord will empower us with boldness and courage to act on the promises you have given. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. According to Joshua 1, 9, we decree and declare that the Lord will renew our strength daily as we continue in this birthing process. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. According to Isaiah 40, 29, we decree and declare that the Lord will grant us spiritual insight to understand the deeper purposes of this season. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. According to Romans 8, 16, we decree and declare that the Lord will provide for us any financial needs related to this season of birthing. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. According to Philippians 4, 19, we decree and declare that the Lord will keep our eyes focused on the promise and purpose, not on obstacles or delays. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. According to Hebrews 12, 2, we decree and declare that the Lord will heal and restore any strained relationships affecting our ability to engage in this season. So then, let us pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. According to Romans 14, 19, we decree and declare that the Lord will anoint us for success in every endeavor related to the birthing of his promises. But you have an anointing from the Holy One and all of you know the truth. According to 1 John 2, 20, we decree and declare that the Lord will fulfill his promises for our lives, that we may see the realization of the dreams and purposes he placed in our hearts. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Everyone was fulfilled. According to Joshua 21, 45, we decree and declare that the Lord will give us vision for the future beyond this season so that we can continue to walk in your plans and purposes for our lives. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. According to Jeremiah 29, 11, 
Thank you, Lord, for this season of birthing. Thank you for the new life, the new opportunities, and the new purpose you are bringing forth in us. We give you all the glory and honor, and we place our complete trust in you, knowing that you are faithful to fulfill every promise. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we pray. Amen.